गाइस वेलकम टू सी आर एंटी डिजाइनर चेतन यार दिस इज द हार्ड सरफेस टोपोलॉजी पार्ट थ्री सो बिफोर मूविंग टू वर्ड टूटोरियल इफ यू डेंट सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वी विल मेक समथिंग लाइक दिस सो जस्ट एड अ क्यूब एंड स्केल इट डाउन अलॉन्ग दिस एक्सेस एंड स्केल इट डाउन अलॉन्ग दी एक्स एक्सेस एंड स्केल इट अलॉन्ग दी वाई एक्सेस लाइक दिस देन एड टू लूप कर्ट्स then select this faces and take it down like this then just you need to adjust the length so you can move this loop cuts and now we will start to build the geometry so there are different methods to make anything so just here i have tried one and then i change it so add a two loop cuts right this and then add one more loop cut here and one loop cut from the bottom side like this and just try to build the square so we will get the perfect circle okay insert this and then scale it down along the x axis so we can build the square and then select words and scale it down this words so you can see we have created this octagon and then select the mid center edge and add a bevel and then you just need to move this part like this and then move this part now add one more loop cut here so we can create hole at this position so then add a supporting loop cuts select this faces and then extrude inside this faces give the proper amount for your extrusion then add a two loop cuts and then select this face and extrude inside then scale it down along the z axis and make it equal to the ground plane parallel to the ground plane and just you need to try to create the gap kind of shape here we will build only one side and then we will take the symmetrize of that okay then add a loop cut here and now start to build your topology proper topology so that's why select this words and connect use the connect path option create the path between these words connect words pair and then dissolve this h so you can see we have created good topology here so then we can add easily supporting loop cuts after adding the subdivision surface modifier to maintain the shape then use the symmetrize then you can weld the words like this at the center and try to maintain the chords so that's why you need to dissolve that edge and then just merge this and then dissolve this edges so we have weld those words to single point at the single point to avoid more complexity then insert this faces before that just add a support to loop cuts and try to maintain the square shape if you want perfect circular cut circular hole then you should maintain the square octagon should be circular form in the and your insert insert uh, faces should be in the square so you will get the better circular hole 
then select these words and insert uh, scale it down and you can see just you need to separate these faces and then take it down this like this and then delete this face and just connect these faces at the bottom so you need to merge the words so we will get the same geometry at the bottom and then you need to merge these words and then select everything and use the normal outside recalculate the normal outside so you will get the better shading then add a supportive loop cuts wherever it's necessary because we will add the subdivision surface modifier then select these faces and insert these faces then add a loop cut here support a loop cut and that's nice then select these faces and extrude inside these faces but before that understand the geometry We need to insert these faces also and then select these faces and just de uh, delete these faces and then press F to fill this gap okay but yeah you should maintain the geometry so that's why I have repeated this process here press F to fill the gap And then add loop cuts, support the loop cuts. It's totally depend on you how you want to create the shape. And then add support the loop cuts. Then shade smooth it and you can see the topology is lit pretty good. Then add a subdivision surface modifier, increase its level and then shade smooth. Now you can see it's look good. Then add one more support loop cut here and it's look good, decent. Now we will take the symmetrize. Before that just add loop cut. So we need to work on little bit topology, we need to edit this topology. First add a support to loop cuts and then start to edit your topology to make it more better. And you can see. That's why we need to, we got the hard edge right there in the, in our circular cut. So that's why we need to edit the topology. So just use the knife tool. Try to maintain the cords and then dissolve these edges.
we have we need to do the symmetry here that uh, because we didn't take the symmetry that's why so just do the symmetry and then you can dissolve these edges you can see one loop cut is going all over the geometry so that's why our topology is right So you can see, take a symmetry one more time along the y axis. So we will get the same topology from the other side also, and we can edit the, our topology easily. And you can see we have dissolved these edges. Then select this edge and just dissolve this edge and now it's look good pretty good decent just try to maintain the chord base topology few triangles are fine but try to maintain the chord base topology and it's look good decent its topology is perfectly fine good topology If it's necessary then add a supportive loop cuts if you want the sharp edges, otherwise it's fine. You can see the topology. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye, see you in the next video, take care.